Alright, so today we're going to be going over the most OP build in Diablo 4 for Sorcerers, which is the Eyes Sword build. Uh, as you can see, um, it literally one-shots uh, a lot of the mobs. Take that. Uh, this is in World Tier 4, uh, as you can tell. Uh, elites go down pretty easily with this build as well. Uh, the main thing is you just have to make sure that you freeze them, okay? Uh, if they're not frozen or vulnerable, you'll still do damage, but not nearly the amount that you had just seen. We'll find one more group just to demonstrate yet again uh, the power of this build. Alright, this one. Oh, it does eat mana. That is something. And as you can tell, whenever you're on cooldowns, it's very hard to uh, get these kills. The second your cooldowns are up, uh, you're good to go, you know? As you freeze them. Alright, so, uh, without further ado, Let's go ahead and check out our skill tree. So, where the skill tree goes, you want one point in the firebolt, and you're gonna advance it, right? So you're gonna have enhanced firebolt as well, right? Just to unlock this down here. All right, we'll put five points into eye shards. I have three from my item contribution, which we'll show later, okay? Um, this will be your main source of damage, alright? So, you'll get enhanced ice shards, and then you'll put a point into gritter ice shards. Um, now, as far as elemental dominance, right, so this helps uh, increase damage whenever you pass more than 50 mana, right? So, you just need one point for devastation, right? And then put three points in elemental dominance, right? This is just from a skill. Well, not a skill, but equipment that I have. All right. Then you'll put one point in the teleport because you will be teleporting around, right? As you can see, it also helps uh, you become unstoppable, right? Which is a big thing for us. Uh, now, there's something that you do need, glass cannon, right? Um, I see you need it. You really don't. I mean, you'll deal 18% more damage. You'll take 9% more damage, though. Um, but it helps out long run, right? So you're squishier, but you're doing more damage. You need elemental attunement, right? This helps with critical strikes and the cooldowns of your uh, ice shield you'll be using, right? Because whenever you get this, right, you'll put one point into ice armor, right? And then boom, right? So we'll increase our mana regeneration by 25%. That's huge for us, because as I said earlier, it eats mana, this build does. Then you'll put five points into Frost Nova, okay? Three of which, uh, that's why I'm out eight out of the five. It, three of which came from some of the equipment I have on, right? Now this is gonna freeze them and also make them vulnerable. And our build is all about making sure they're vulnerable or frozen and mobilized, some sort like that, right? Then enhance Frost Nova, right? And then a point into Mystical Frost Nova. Then we get down here. We don't really worry about anything. We put three points in the precision magic, right? Which helps with a lucky hit. Put one point to align the elements just so we can get down here to the protections, which grants 30% of our maximum life because we are pretty squishy. All right. Get down here. Put one point in the icy veil, right? So this is our barrier, okay? It helps with the duration of it. And then we'll put three points in the snap freeze, which helps out a lot because as we said earlier ice shards require you to have them frozen all right now we're going to put a point into inner flames and then three points in the devouring blaze right so this is strictly just because of our basic right and our left click okay it helps with the mobilized enemies right all right then we come down here all right so we will put Alright, this is where we get our ultimate. We'll put one point in deep freeze and then another one in the prime freeze. Now, you don't really need this um, unless like you're really worried about your 
cooldowns, which, as I said, when your cooldowns are going off, you're not going to have a lot of time for, or a lot of damage to put out, I should say, right? Like, it really focuses on this, okay? Um, then I will be getting this, um, whenever I get another skill point there. Alright, so then we're going to put three points in the permafrost, and so you want three in all of these, right? Um, however, I obviously cannot put three into all of them because I still haven't got two of my points from the, um, or well, three of my point, skill points from the renown, right? So it will be three, 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 three if you have all the renown, right? I have two coming from one of the equipment pieces I have. Then we come down here and we'll avalanche, right? So this helps with dealing damage. And uh, it doubles against vulnerable enemies, right? And it also, whenever you put it into a passive slot, um, it will give you a free charge, right? So on your ice shards, right? And I have two of them right now. So that, that way I get to do ice shards twice for free back to back sometimes, right? Which helps out because it does eat up mana. All right, so go to our skill assignments, right? So we want ice shards down here, right? Because we'll have a 40% chance to ricochet to another enemy, right? Great, so almost 50% of the time we will be hitting other enemies if they're frozen, alright? And then we also want fire bolt enhancement, right? Because direct damage from skills apply to an additional, right? So we burn them over 8 seconds of time, right? So it helps out, um, especially whenever your abilities are on cooldown. Right, so... Now, we'll go over the Paragon board. So, this is the route I took. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a picky route, right? I'm trying to save all my Paragon points and get to what I need to get, right? Um, you will use exploit. All builds have exploit built into them, right? Uh, because this is for vulnerable enemies, right? And we like vulnerable enemies with this build, alright? Get these, and you'll come back over here, go this way, right? You'll make a new board, you'll rotate it. This board is the Frigid Fate board, right? So you'll go straight up, get across here, right? Because we won't be able to have a lucky hit chance, right? as well as cold resistance, which they will be updating in a few patches, they said. Come up here, then we get this, right? Vulnerable enemies, yet again. Helps out a lot. Alright. Come back over here. Boom. We don't have the willpower for this yet, but we soon will. Um, to get another 10% against vulnerable enemies. Okay? Um, helps out a lot. Vulnerable damage, as you can see. Now up here, you want destruction. Um, and it's mainly for a critical strike chance, right? Because sometimes uh, you can just hit whenever your abilities are on cooldown. You're just right clicking with ice shards, and boom, like you'll you'll get a massive damage. Like, all right, we'll come up this way. And again, another uh, oppressive. All right, for vulnerable damage. Up, and then we'll get to ice fall forward, right? And you want it rotated this way because that's the way you can go like that, right? Get these. Or just get this one, come down, go up, grab that one on the way, and boom, we'll have ice fall. Which, killing a frozen enemy grants you 50% of your maximum life as a barrier. Five seconds, which is nice. Alright, now, our equipment that we have on. We have frost number, uh, so we have this helm, it helps with frost number. Alright, um,. So it gives us another charge, right, which you'll be using a lot, right? Um, it does, however, uh, increase the cooldown time, right, by 39%. Uh, this is my take on Ice Shard build, okay? Because I don't have exactly what other videos have, but I like this build. Alright, so casting Ice Armor makes you unstoppable for 2.3 seconds, right? Which is nice to have, because not only will we be unstoppable whenever we're dash, um, whenever we use dash, but whenever we're dash is down, we have our shield up, we pop it and we'll be unstoppable again all right uh this one i have to change um i had it imprinted with 30 percent damage that immobilizers on enemies but because we already have 51 percent 
more damage to immobilized thunder frozen enemies. It cancels this one out, so we'll have to get a new imprintment, right? So on this jewelry piece, um, if a core scale hits five or more enemies, we're percent of the resource cost is refunded. Why? Which is nice. We like that. We would like to get that mana back. All right, and then while in deep freeze is active, it splits and ice spikes form in the area, right? So nice to have it. All right, because while we're freezing the enemies, uh, we also aren't able to right click for the ice spikes to come out, but they'll come out automatically with this. Right. Then enemies. Uh, so whenever you kill an enemy, if they're frozen, 15% chance that only is frost number. So freeze the enemies around them in case your frost number is down. Right, your own cooldowns. All right. Uh, I just like this build uh, with the movement speed whenever I teleport. Because if I'm teleporting, I'm trying to get the fuck away from everybody else. You know. All right. And then avalanche key passive. As I've said before, right. This allows us to have a free ability use of frost all right then over here um when you freeze an enemy there's 27 percent chance they become vulnerable for three seconds right which is nice which is great all right so if you guys have any questions please feel free to uh, comment them i uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope this was helpful see you guys in the next one